There are hundreds, if not thousands of books on finance, from very basic ones to somewhere you need a PhD in economics to understand. With so many options, it's hard to know where to start and who to listen to. Today, I'll be sharing five with you that I think will give you a well-rounded understanding of finance, but also change your understanding of money and its purpose. Let's go. So, starting off this list is The Richest Man in Babylon, written by George S. Clausen nearly a hundred years ago. Now, while this book may be old, it still offers fantastic advice in the form of fictional ancient parabolas. In the book, you are thrown back to ancient Babylon, where you are taught financial literacy by Arkid, the richest man in Babylon. This book can appeal to people of all ages because the stories are memorable and they actually engage the reader. The topics are broken down into simple terms, and you actually get to see that people have been saving and making money basically the same way for thousands of years. You just need to learn how to do it, and more importantly, how to do it properly. Overall, this book is a quick read. When I first got it, my intention was to only read a couple chapters and then a couple chapters the next day and so on and so forth until I finished the book. But I actually ended up reading probably like 95% of it my first day because it's, it's, it flows nice. Like I said, the storytelling's great and it's not that long. It's about, I don't know, 185 pages, especially, you know, this tiny and this size. So probably in a couple hours, you can easily finish this book. Now, I definitely recommend reading it again and over and, you know, highlighting parts and adding notes here and there. But yeah, if you want a good book with solid storytelling and excellent financial advice, then you should definitely take this into consideration. The next book on our list is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which has been read by millions and millions of people over the last 80 or so years. Now, Mr. Hill emphasizes the power of the mind and how crucial it is when it comes to achieving success and making decisions. A clear and positive outlook with set goals and habits will help you achieve financial success. Many people are good at setting goals, but they're not good at setting up the steps and the habits that they have to do in order to achieve said goals. The goal could be, I want to get an A on Monday's test. I want to earn $50,000 this year, or I want to buy a house. The goal is clear as day. Now granted, sometimes we do stumble into success and are lucky, but if you truly want to be successful time and time again, you need to set a path. Now to help you with your journey to success, Mr. Hill gives you actionable steps to follow in the desire and auto suggestion chapters of the book. In these chapters, he gives you guidelines to how to create your path and how to motivate yourself once you're on it. So for example, you're asked to write down a financial goal you want to achieve, the date you wish to achieve it, and how. Then you repeat this morning and night every day. Now, some people may need this to give them a sense of purpose and motivation, while others can use it as a daily reminder of what they want to achieve. Besides that, Mr. Hill shares some key principles and lessons that he learned from studying and following some of the smartest and most successful people of his era, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and even Andrew Carnegie. So if you want a book that will help you create your path, motivate you to be the best person and version of yourself you can be, and also how to relentlessly pursue your success and dreams, this is the book for you. The next book in our list is The Millionaire Next Door, written by Thomas J. Stanley, PhD, and William D. Danko, PhD. Now, this was the second book that I actually read in my financial journey, and it's one of my favorite. I read it when I was 17 or 18, and it actually changed my understanding and perspective of what it meant to be wealthy and successful. The biggest thing to take away from this book is that on any given day, you're surrounded by millionaires. They look like us, talk like us, and eat at the same restaurants like us. A large portion of millionaires are average Joes like you and me with average homes and average cars who put their heads down and earn their money through sheer discipline and prudent financial management. This book challenges the stereotype that millionaires live extravagant lives. In fact, through the extensive research conducted by Dr. Stanley and Danko, many millionaires live below their means and prioritize financial independence above all. What's more, the interviewees offer practical advice on how to achieve success that they learn through trial and error. You will also see and get motivated, hopefully, by all the different types of people that are interviewed. Different ages, different genders, different backgrounds, different forms of education, different types of jobs. And they all achieve success. And they did it through hard work and discipline. Now, The Psychology of Money, written by Morgan Housel, explains money from a psychological standpoint. Because unfortunately, we have a very complex relationship with money that is only exacerbated with our biases, our emotions, outside influences, and irrational behavior. 
The book helps readers understand why we act the way we do and how we can improve our situation and mindset. Financial freedom is a long-term plan, so we have to fight against the social pressures of instant gratification. Everyone's situation is different. That's why it's called personal finance. Once you determine what your goals and values are, you can create a unique path to pursue financial freedom based off of your personal circumstance. Until you learn who you are and what your relationship with money is, you will continue to stumble and fall and lose precious years of compound interest. No one wants that, so you might as well start as soon as possible. Lastly is The 4-Hour Workweek, written by Tim Ferriss, which goes to challenge the conventional 9 to 5 and also encourages people to live a life that they can look back on and not regret. I am sure I'm not the only one who has worked a conventional 9 to 5 and thought it archaic at times. A rigid structure is imposed on you that rarely accommodates individual needs and preferences. There are times where you're completely overwhelmed and times where you doom scroll for 6 of the 8 hours. Tasks may only take a few hours to complete, but you have to stretch it out to look busy because you will get in trouble for finishing early and being lazy. People can become resentful because the fire and desire to innovate is pushed to the wayside as longevity is rewarded. However, times are changing. Not all jobs require a suit and a two hour round trip commute to the office to do work you can do just as well, if not better at home in shorts. People are fighting for a work-life balance and fortunately, loyalty until retirement to a company is all but dead. Tim encourages you to become creative with your financial goals, leverage technology, and create a work schedule that best fits your needs and behavior. So automate those menial tasks, outsource what you aren't good at, and think outside the box to help you achieve your desired lifestyle. Throughout the book, there are dozens of other resources and books mentioned that can help make your journey a lot more efficient and easier. Tim also does a lot of step-by-step -step guidance and gives real-world examples to help you on your path. For those who are tired of the status quo and want to create a more ideal life, then pick up this book. If becoming a millionaire and financially independent was easy, then there'd be no need for these books and video. It's hard to know what is right and wrong and even harder to stay motivated and disciplined. Regardless of where you are, who you are, and what you do, smart financial decisions can erase generations of bad ones and give you and your family a better life to live. And with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.